G'day guys, welcome to today's vlog. Gonna show you guys the van, I've been working on it. So I'm gonna let you guys have a look on the inside and uh, have a look at the carpet, it looks pretty good. So it's safe to say that I've pretty much completed the carpet on the inside of the van, on the side walls here, and on the side walls over here. And it looks okay. Like, I'm happy with it. I did it myself and I've had no previous experience with carpeting or anything like that. So, I've been working on that and I just finished it today. So, yeah, it looks okay, I guess. That was really difficult. This was extremely difficult. I had to do like a... I had to cut it like a semicircle shape on the side here and then glue it to the side and then get another thin strip, which is like that, and then lay that down there like that. And then I had to go at it with little pieces, like little squares and little rectangles to fill in all of this around here. Extremely difficult and I just left that exposed and then I just like filled around this little thing here as well. I managed to do okay I guess and then I laid around all of this up along here and all along there. I'm gonna leave that little bit. Got to get this done again. We've got to do that with you know, filling in with like a piece of wood or something and then maybe doing carpet over that. And then this wall I done as well. But yeah, it's all pretty much done guys. But as it seems the van is slowly getting there. We're almost, we're almost ready for van life to begin. I just need to get the steering rack done and oil change. Also update with the oil change. We have the oil down there waiting. I did order the air filter and oil filter online. We'll see how that goes, and then we'll get an oil change done. Take it out for a roadworthy, and I think that's about it. I, I'm not thinking about getting solar for the time being. I might get it later on down the track, once I start living in it, and, and then just figure out and improve as I go. Because like, I'm sure I'm just going to improve the van's livability and functionality as I start to live in it and, and learn like what I specifically need to improve the van. But having that said, I think what I'm going to start off with, because I do need power, to charge laptop, phone, camera gear, and all that kind of stuff. I'm thinking about just buying an inverter. I think I was looking on eBay, they're like 200 bucks for maybe a 2000 watt or volt. What? I don't know which one it is. Yeah, I think that's enough power to keep me going and it charges as... And I think the inverter charges as the car's running. So the car charges the inverter. So then you have some power to charge laptops and stuff. So I think I might just do that for the time being and see how I go with that. And I think I should be pretty good because I'm not going to be using that much power. All I need it for is just electronics like laptops and stuff because I'm not having a fridge. I was thinking just to have, because I have because I have this little esky here, just gonna do ice in the esky for um, food and stuff, which is very simple. And I don't really have anything else to run power off. It's just pretty much that, so. But we have made some sales. So I'm going to head inside and um, package up some stuff. And I'll show you guys what's sold. And also, I think I might just leave this white, the inside of this door. Because when you open it, having the carpet, it's quite a snug finish there. But I did have carpet glued to the inside of this door before. And for some reason, I mustn't have had the door closed properly. And when it hardcore rained, it um the rain dripped through and like the carpet fell off. I'm thinking of putting like some kind of decoration or like wall decor on there in terms of like quotations, pictures, and all that kind of stuff. I think I might just glue it on here instead. But um, yeah, you gotta watch your step. All right, so first sale was some of my. Nikes, Nike 5.0s, heaps of wear, been worn a lot by myself. We got 20 bucks for these ones. Then we sold Canon EOS 1000D. This was my main photography camera for the eBay biz, but decided to get rid of it. I paid 100 for it from Savers ages ago. Ended up selling it for 130. A little bit of profit but a whole lot of utility and use was used out of this one, but I don't really need it now because I have the G7X, which is what I'm filming on right now. Next up, we sold a Varsity jacket. It was a San Francisco diamond starter jacket. Right there, vintage, size large. We sold this one on eBay, not Etsy. This is, we got 50 bucks for this. It's got the SF on the front there and the little starter logo right there on the sleeve. Next sale was a first edition 
Harry Potter book, this one here, The Order of the Phoenix. We sold this one for 20 bucks. The first edition seemed to bring a bit more dollars and they're pretty good sales. The way to find out the first edition, you go to one of the first pages here, maybe the third page, and you look on this page right here, and right there it says first edition. So we got the Nike Air Max 1 Ultra in the Varsity Red. Right here, we sold these ones for 50 bucks. Then we also sold a Cox Plate hat. We still got quite a few of these here. Um, we paid a dollar a piece for these ages ago, but we got uh, 25 bucks for this one right here. The blue, all brand new with tags. We've got more blue than black it seems, but, but this is the one we sold right here. Also getting out a Guitar Hero for the Wii. Picked this up on the hard rubbish for nothingness. So this was free and this one's for the Wii. So we got 15 from zero to 15. It's always good. So guys, what I think I might do, do the oil change, change the oil filter and the oil and also the air filter as well. I just got them in the mail. So we have the air filter right here. We'll put this one in, the new one for that. Also today is super windy. Like really, really windy. Trees and stuff have been falling down on roads and crazy stuff like that. So hopefully, uh, yeah, one, it doesn't interrupt the audio with this video when I'm talking and stuff. And also, and also it makes it a manageable task here in the driveway. <laughs> hopefully wind doesn't blow everything everywhere. But um, also this is the oil filter as well. I just realized it's a little damaged. It's got a bit of a dent there from postage, but she'll be right. So we got that. And then we've also got some Castrol GTX oil. I got the um, 20 by 50. This is really, really thick oil apparently, and it's more suited to vehicles that have done a few kilometers. So the van, how much is the van at? Yeah, so the van's at 308,000. 942 kilometers, so it's done a fair bit of Ks. But hopefully this oil change will keep the old jigger going. So so uh, I'm probably gonna get started right away. One thing I've already noticed underneath there is that it has a guard. So I'm gonna be pulling that guard off first before we can gain access to the oil filter. I think I'll do the oil filter first. Obviously empty out the oil, so let's empty the oil out. And um, yeah, fingers crossed, I ain't no mechanic, so I've just been watching YouTube videos and um, I think I have a fair idea of what to do. I am not going to jack it up, so we're going to see how we can go. Just getting under there how it is. It's pretty high off the ground, considering it's a pretty heavy vehicle. So I'm just not going to risk that and just leave it on the ground. <laughs> Alright, so windy, but let's get under here and I'll show you guys the situation. Alright. So as you can see, we've got this guard here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, unscrew it here and here, and all the way around here, and we'll pull this thing off. I can already see the fluid that's been leaking under here, if you guys can see that, that oil there. That's from the steering rack, I believe. I'm not sure where the steering rack exactly is located on this vehicle, but I'm thinking it's gonna be somewhere around there. We're gonna try and get this van running smoothly. We got it. This was the culprit. Alright, so having a look under, we can get the shot. This here, this bolt. Oh, it's so difficult to see. Anyway, that bolt right there, guys. That's oil. We gotta get that one out. And then up in there, where it, right there, that bolt up there, that is the oil filter. All right, so I got my bucket for the oil collection, and then uh, I got an 18 millimeter. 
I don't know if that's going to be the right size, but we'll have a crack just in case we got a 16 here too. And there, right up there somewhere. She's bloody tight. Oh my gosh, that doesn't even fit. I'm going to need something a little lower. So I found this. I was using this for storage in the van, but it's going to have to get oil in it. Hopefully I can clean it out later. Probably not, but who cares? It's going to be perfect. Chuck that down there. All right, so 18 fits a treat. I'm going to have to try and sit this camera up so you guys can see this. Oh, I haven't got enough leverage. Oh, this is not enough room. So guys, unfortunately, I don't have the correct tools. We'll start working on getting the oil out and everything. It's so windy today, but I'm um, just gonna have to wait until Dad gets back home because he has the key for the shed, which has the proper tools in it. So I have to wait until he gets home so we can continue working on the van. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna head out and do a bit of thrifting and um, see if we can pick up some stuff today. So I'm taking Naya down to the hairdresser to meet up with her. Yeah. yeah. I but the location, but I don't need it. Yeah, we'll cut that out. But first of all, we had to get some fuel, and also, there's a Macca's over here, and we're gonna get some frozen coke. Oh, yeah, we are. So low, so low. Stop. Hi there, can I get two frozen cokes, please? Yes. No worries, I'll just come to the turtle. It's a podcast. To you. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the frozen coke's going down well. Time for me to part with Naya. See you, Naya. Bye. Enjoy that coke. Oh, I will. My God. See ya. Alright, just rolled up to a thrift. We've got a Salvo's out the back here. So I'm going to pop into this one. Let's see how we go. Fingers crossed we find some stuff today. Alright, guys, so we popped on our first few tags just out the front of that Salvo's. I ended up popping on a jacket and some boots some shoes i'm not exactly sure if they're boots or shoes they're kind of like high rise i don't know what you'd call them but this is a brand that i just recently learned it's called loke i think that's how you pronounce it loke shoemakers england made in england shoes always a good indicator that they're going to be worth a bit if they're made in england italy or somewhere like that but um really awesome boots for all of this stuff, we paid 26 so let's just say we paid 13 bucks for each item right here. Yeah, but I did some research and I discovered this brand, and it was awesome to see them in the thrift. For 13 bucks, I'd be able to get 70 to to 100 bucks for these. I've got to do a bit more research, though. And then I popped on this vintage Billabong jacket. A really awesome sale for one of these jackets was a corduroy one, and it ended up selling for 300 bucks. Super rare corduroy. This one's just pretty much standard all round. Pretty awesome vintage look to it. And on the back, it has the Billabong spell out there at the back as well. Pretty awesome piece. And one with like a more colourful design at the front here sold for about 120 or something like that. So I think I'd probably get 100 bucks for this one here. So uh, some really good returns on investment there, and that's what I'm sort of aiming for. My sort of rule of thumb is when I'm hitting these thrifts up is to try and pick up an item, like the ideal item is a $5 cost and a $50 sale or, or above. But this was 13 each to about 100 sale. So it still kind of works out a bit. And you know, I give or take a three or $4, I'm not gonna pass up on an item because it's just over that amount that I'd ideally want to get per item. If it's still profitable, I'm still gonna pick it up. But that is the ideal item five dollars to fifty or ten dollars to a hundred that's kind of the uh profit ratio that i'm looking at but anyway guys we're on to the next thrift we started off the day in a good manner so i'm super pumped so uh, we're going to use this energy to continue thrifting let's do it all right guys so we popped on some more stuff and uh two polos two polos we got paid 11 bucks for all of it so let's just say five dollars and fifty cents each so the first item we have here is a Fred Perry. Now this is under the ideal limit I'd like to get, obviously, but it's a good seller, so I just picked it up anyway. Should be able to get 30 to 50 at the max if I was to shoot high and weight, but about 31. Comps are really low, but that's just people trying to, I don't know, they're just selling it just ridiculously cheap, like $5 and stuff, but these still have value. 
So 30, 35, 40 bucks, somewhere around there. And it's in a really nice color. This, this blue will sell it nicely. Then we also have another piece right here, Versace Jeans Couture. Um, in, it's a nice vintage polo shirt with the Versace logo right there. Nice piece, again, comps are like 20 bucks or something at the very lowest, but then the highest is like 80 bucks. So I'm gonna shoot for 50 for this and um, just wait a little longer. Should be able to get 50 bucks or so. It's a pretty unique logo here, so um, that should sell it pretty well. But again, 50 and 30, so about 80 bucks there for those two polos. All right, guys, so I popped into another thrift just behind me here. We popped on a wetsuit, Rip Curl brand here, so it's a bit of an older wetsuit here. You can tell by that tag right there, but it's a size large. Rip Curl, pretty nice wetsuit. Definitely a more vintage one and older one, so it probably won't bring as much as the more recent ones but it doesn't have any rips or tears or anything like that. But we're looking at anything at a real minimum of 50 bucks for it, up to about 100. I'm probably gonna list it for 100 and see how it goes. A wetsuit, similar error to that one, extra large, sold for 100, so I couldn't see why I can't get 100 bucks for it. So guys, made it back home from a bit of thrifting, calling it quits for thrifting for the day. Did pretty well, but I have the key for the shed, because dad is home right now, so. Gotta get a few things out of the shed. We need the jack. And what else do we need? Oh yeah, we need all the proper tools that I don't really have in my own toolbox inside. Oh, jack. So the reason why I'm getting the jack is because there's just not enough room, especially for dad, to get in there. So yeah, it's not like he's fat or anything. It's just like I'm pretty slender, so I could squeeze under there, but you're kind of like still squished up in there. It's like right in your face. So we're going to get the jack. I need that. Oh, where's the end for that? All right, there it is. We need this one. Oh, watch out, Sue. Move it. Also need the toolbox. Oh. I think we might need this one. See, this one has heap more leverage. The other tool that I was using, the handle's only like that long, so there's like not enough to work with to pull it around, so hopefully this will do the trick. So I'm just looking in the Volkswagen manual here that we have for the transporter here. And just looking up where to lift it. It's always good just to double check and, and make sure. So we're going to need the front lifted instead. The rear you'd do it like kind of about there. But it looks like there is a little bit of metal here. that We might um, jack it up right behind the wheel, the front wheel. So see if we can find that position. So right there is the spot by the looks of it. As I've found out, it's definitely not a good idea to jack it up with the gearbox, like at the gearbox or like on the motor. Serious damage, so we're not gonna do that. So we ended up getting the oil out of there and replacing the oil filter up in there. Look at the old oil that was oh, in the jigger. Put it in the water. Huh? That's not the oil cap, that's the water cap. Yeah, Don't be silly. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, but that's the oil that was in it. Oh, need a good clean. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, look at this. Got a few bags in there. That's bug. the older one. The old one, huh? Same as the new Same size? I uh, hope so. <laughs> Just a bit flashy one of these ones. And then How old do you reckon this is? Oh, it's old. I chucked it away. So what we want to do now is try and get this box out. Put it in. Here. It's like a garbage bin. So the air filter sits in here. Just unclips here very simply and then pops out pretty much. Yeah, it's a good one. Put this one. on. Put this one. Is that on? Not yet. Blinded, you know why? Because I haven't got any glasses on. So you can be my eyes. Blinders are bad. How many litres here? That's not going anywhere. What's this? Merc. Now just have a look under and see if there's no leaks. It's pissing out. <laughs> <laughs> Get me going. <laughs> I thought you would have been like, oh, what? <laughs> 
Now that we've changed the oil filter, air filter, and put new oil into it, we're going to start her up now and see how she goes. Get the oil running through the oil filter and all of that. So let's do it. sound too good. Jeez, that evening sun always gets in the way. That wasn't me. That was. Oil change done. Alright guys, that is it from me for today's vlog. It was really awesome to get the van oil change done. It's running really smoothly. Rolled it back and forth in the driveway. It seems to be running really smoothly because it was running a little noisy but the oil seemed to have quietened that down a little bit which is good so what i'm going to do now is get the stuff that i picked up today listed um it was good because it was only like a few items so yeah i'm going to get to work on listing that stuff right now but yeah guys that is it for today's vlog thanks for coming along thanks for watching give us a thumbs up it's good to be back and good to be vlogging again and i'll see you in the next one whenever that may be catch us later bye fight it's like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Fight! Hey, it's on! It's on! Come on, you want a piece of me? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> that fight goes to Little Tacker. <laughs>